And over 30 years since Aussie Crawl's anthem Reckless topped the charts, the band's founder, James Rain, is taking all the band's biggest hits on the tour. He's one of our favourite guests and he's in Melbourne with us again this morning. Good to see you, buddy. Good morning. Mate, you look fantastic. I love what you're wearing around your neck. Thank you very much. It's a flourish. Is that what it is? A flourish? Well, it's you know, nice. a crew neck and a flourish. Oh, that's <laughs> delightful. Hey, uh, let's talk about this. This Australian Crawl's biggest hits tour. Uh, it's just, does it feel good to revisit some of the old stuff? Yeah, it does, actually. Um, we, I mean, a lot of the songs we play anyway in our normal shows, but uh, we're doing it because we did it about three or four years ago and people went nuts. People mm. loved it. So we thought, well, you know, give them what they want, we'll go out again. Because you could almost do, like, an album as well. Like, you could do, like, Sirocco or something like that and just focus on one iconic album as well. Yeah, you could do that, although a couple of the songs, you know, you want to do the whole album. There are a couple of uh, fillers in there. <laughs> <laughs> we might not... <laughs> What do you say? Like to, to you, but like not to, think to this the is fans. All killer. Sorry? Fillers to you, but not to the fans. I mean, we love it all. What would you define as a filler? Uh, well, uh, without. Well, we do. There's a song called Shut Down that we do that I think is a little bit of a filler, but then I thought it was a bit of a filler then. So I got in trouble with the band because I didn't want to sing it then, but you know. You know, you learn to grow and learn to find something in these songs that you can uh, enjoy. Namaste. You know what, uh, James, I mean, obviously crowds, the shows have been selling out. There's yeah. no doubt that the fans love it. But I just want to say to you, congratulations on your wedding. You got married fairly recently, didn't you? I got married about three months ago. I'd never been oh. married before, and I thought, well, why not? And I turned, a, a, I had a birthday, and I thought, we'll have a birthday party and a little bit of a you know, ceremony at the same time. So we just had a lovely party, it was great. So tell oh. us about it, how was the big day? It was fantastic, we had it on a, a friend of mine, a guy called uh, Simon and Anna Purcell, who are very good friends of mine, let us use their beautiful uh, property down in the Mornington Peninsula and we invited a lot of our friends and um, family and they all came and everyone had a wonderful time. Who was the band? Keeps... Sorry? <laughs> who was the wedding band? Well, the wedding band, I, I don't know if I should drop any names, but there are quite a few, you know, a, a lot on. of singers, a lot of... Well, we, you know, I, I don't want people thinking, oh, what a, you know, he's... No, they're rhymes. your mates. They're them, they are my mates, and, um, you know, some friends of yours were there, and... Uh, <laughs> and we actually relatives? had a couple, a couple <laughs> of your relatives. So there you go. relatives were there. <laughs> they were there, so uh, we all had a big singer. We had some equipment there. We actually got a couple of paparazzi, oh. which I've never had. They turn up, because this play, the property's quite big, so we saw someone spotted these two guys sort of way down across a paddock in the bush. And I thought, what do they do? What do they want? I mean, how'd they know about it? So there are two, two of the young guys of the party, um, Charlie and Rip, who are 16. There's an old Land Rover they used to drive around the, the paddock. So they, they, they tore down and confronted this guy who had his big lens and, uh, and uh, sort of questioned him. But sat him down and questioned him about his moral sort of fibre. <laughs> so that was quite amusing. But Not I don't everything. think they were there to take pictures of me. I think they might have been there to take pictures of some of our guests. Oh, you, big you, you are too humble, James yeah, Rain. Yeah, and no, the, that was for you, man. Because we want to know about the, these talks that you had to play James Bond. Rain. James Rain. Oh, James, God, where have you heard this? Oh, we've heard stuff. We we've heard research. things. And if not, we just put lies out there. So tell us the truth. OK, <laughs> well, from, from my memory, and it's distant, is that about in the early... 80s, and I'd done a thing called what is it? Oh, that's James Bond. Uh, that's um, <laughs> so I think it's Roger. Roger Moore. It's Roger. Roger Moore. So I think it was pre Roger Moore, and I'd done this thing called Return to Eden. Love so Return I think to Eden. I'd got a call, as I think quite a few other people had, to go to Sydney. They, there were these people, these American producers, wanted to have a, just a, a chat to you, not a, an audition, just a meeting. And I was with this woman, her name was Barbara Broccoli, and I should have talked to her. She still her. is the Bond woman now. She's, she she's still signed is. signed James, uh, James again. Yeah, Cubby's daughter. That's right. So I was sitting in this meeting with her and I believe a couple of other people, and I was having them, I was sort of talking, and they asked me sort of questions, and it wasn't anything real. And they, you had to keep it quiet, they didn't tell you what it was about. Uh. And about halfway through, <laughs> I sort of twigged and went, oh my goodness, I think they're looking for the new James Bond. And at that point, because the realisation was so great, I kind of lost my mojo and sort of went to pieces and got had a flop sweat and did all that. So I, you know. <laughs> You're so, so cool. Didn't get it. But then, funnily enough, I later on did a show called State Coroner with Wendy Hughes, the beautiful Wendy yeah. Hughes, who's no longer with us. And a guy, an actor called Andrew Clark was on that show. And I remember telling the story to Andrew, sort of big you know, Oh, yeah, of course I did this thing with James Bond. <laughs> And he said, oh, yeah, I did it too. I got down the last two. Oh. Uh, so Andrew could have been um, James Bond, but I certainly was never going to be James Bond. I don't I think, know. Uh, I think you've got the look. Yeah. I mean, you Thank still you have the much. look, James.
Thank you very much, Sonia. That's very kind of you. And congratulations on your wedding. Yeah. Always good to see James. You can get tickets to the tour at jamesrain.com.au. Tea legend. Thank you. Thank you very well. Thank you to both of you. Thank you very much. Anytime. You know that. Just ahead. Which